Can't tell showers are great except for one problem. They're all going to eventually develop a leak right at the hose. Now it doesn't matter if it's at the front or the back, because in this video I'm going to show you you can repair this problem in just a few minutes and make this thing work like new. The most common place you're going to see a leak is between the shower head itself and the hose connecting to it. And you might luck out because oftentimes with that hose, it kind of makes the collar rotate and it can become loose. So grab a hold of the shaft, try to turn it to the right and see if you can make it any tighter. You might luck out and your leak could be solved, but if it doesn't fix it, we can go ahead and look a little bit deeper to see what's going on. To start, we want to unscrew that collar and you can try to do it with your hands, but you're going to often find that it's on there so tight, the thing is never going to budge. And you don't want to use any kind of tool like this because those sharp teeth are going to bite right into that collar and tear the thing apart. But fortunately, many of these collars have a built-in trick, and that's these two flat spots on the end. And those are going to work perfectly with an adjustable wrench. And those have flat jaws, so you're not going to cause any damage to the collar. Slide your adjustable wrench right onto those flat spots and give it a twist, and that collar should come right off. And here's a trick if you don't have an adjustable wrench, or you just don't want to use one. Go ahead and grab one of those jar openers and put that onto the collar, and then squeeze it as hard as you can while you turn that shower head with your other hand. And these silicone oven mitts work just as well. Now once you get that collar unscrewed, you want to take a look inside because this is the part that's going to cause your leak. This black ring is called the ceiling washer, and this is what keeps everything watertight. You can try to remove it by picking it out, but it's going to be easier to just slide that collar down, and then the washer will kind of pop out on its own. And at this point, if you already tried to tighten that collar up and it didn't solve your leak, you've got two options. The first is you can try to flip that washer over. This is an old plumber's trick that actually works because when you flip it over, you kind of get a new ceiling surface and that might just solve your leak. But if you want to be sure to get rid of that leak once and for all, you want to take that washer and go down to your local hardware store, Home Depot or Lowe's and have them match you up a replacement. And if the one they give you doesn't include the screen, it's not really a big deal because many shower heads in the market don't include a screen at all. You'll also want to take a look at the end of the hose. You're looking for any type of big cracks or huge chips and that's going to mean you're going to have to replace the hose or the entire shower head. Now whether you're going to try to flip your old washer over or you've got a replacement, we've just got to put it into the hose. Now these things can be kind of tight, so you've got to just work it into the end, push it around the threads until it's completely seated. Now we just need to screw that collar back onto our shower head. And you don't use any kind of sealing paste, no Teflon tape, you don't put anything on those threads. The only thing that makes that seal watertight is the washer. So if you've got any kind of a leak, you can try flipping it over first, and if that doesn't work, Go ahead and buy a replacement, and that should completely solve your problem. And when you're tightening this thing back up, you don't want to use the wrench. It's too easy to over tighten it. You might crack the shower head, but it is okay to use that jar opener. And keep in mind, many shower heads on the market won't even include those flat spots. So you're going to need something like this to give you some extra grip when you're first taking it apart. Now we've just got to turn the water on and check for leaks. And this one is looking perfect, and you shouldn't have any leaks at all in your shower head. And if you do, you want to give some of these tips a try to see if they can make a difference. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.